What's up guys, welcome back to the GT3 and today is particularly awesome because it is exhaust day. I'm on my way now to JZM which is where I bought the GT3 from in the first place and I always said to them that I would probably be back to upgrade the exhaust at some stage. Uh, at that time I wasn't too sure which exhaust I was going to be fitting but since then cool things have unfolded. Now someone very cool on Twitter and forgive me because I've forgotten your name but uh, while I was in Bahrain a fan on Twitter um, tweeted to Sharkworks and said you should hook Mr. JWW up with an exhaust and sure enough Sharkworks came through and they sent me an exhaust. I'm so thankful and so shocked uh, that someone would be so incredibly kind and sent through an exhaust. So First of all, massive thanks to the guy on Twitter. I will find you uh, and I will kill you. <laughs> no, no, I will find you and I will uh, send you a thanks soon. Um, but also, of course, a huge, huge thank, thank you to the guys at Sharkworks for sending me over their finest exhaust system. So today, as I mentioned, we're driving down to JZM and we're going to get this pipe fixed. But of course, what exhaust video would be complete without a before and after? So. We're in the GT3 now, it's been warmed up, and we're gonna do a comparison video of what this car sounds like, stock, standard. You know my thoughts on this as it stands, it already sounds brilliant. And then of course, after it's been fitted, we're gonna do a very similar video of afterwards. So, let's go make some noise. In its standard form, you still have the option to turn the valves in the exhausts on and off, and it does make a difference, but it's not huge, but it's just the sort of thing that you press as soon as you get in the uh, car. So, valve's on in a totally stock car. All right, we're coming up now on a nice straight. Let's see how this thing sounds, all right? I'm starting in second at 4,000 revs. As a standard car, it already makes fantastic noises under heavy acceleration. So I'm kind of expecting, obviously, there to be improvements there, but the improvements that, that I'm searching for are during downshift, because this thing, top end anyway, is amazing. So if it improves top end, bonus points. If it improves downshifting and under slower speeds, Perfect. Having had that uh, yeah, short stint of uh, crazy acceleration, uh, yeah, let's go and get this exhaust fitted and see how it sounds. Okay, so at this point, I was supposed to be splicing in some footage of the exhaust actually being fitted to the GT3. It was up on a ramp, it was really interesting and it looked cool. But if you watch my previous videos, you'll have no doubt have seen the time when I decided to let go of my phone out of the window of the GT3, traveling at relatively high speeds and smashing it across half of France. And at the time, it was indeed a mild inconvenience, but I've just discovered upon trying to edit this video that all of the footage of the exhaust being fitted was on that phone. Yeah. So, here's some pretty pictures of some nice Porsches. Enjoy the show and we'll spit you out the other side with the exhaust fitted. 
See you tomorrow. what I'm searching for because as with this being practically my daily driver I don't want it to be like screaming everywhere I go especially through town you know you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself with a really loud exhaust so it's nice to know that at slower speeds it's not obnoxious but hopefully at higher speeds it's really obnoxious <laughs> Great. I mean, one of my concerns as well was by fitting a pipe, was was I going to change that fundamental, you know, signature Porsche sound? So far, so good. So far, it still sounds like a nice Porsche.